Jacob Collier. What? Oh, it's Jacob. Oh, it's Jacob. Oh, it's Jacob. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. It's Jacob Collier. Okay. Did Jacob do the production as well? Did did he uh did he do the uh production too? Is it was is that the is that the thing? Uh or was he just uh, kind of randomly featuring on the track? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Only vocal. Maza. Uh thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. But uh but yeah, you know, I, I thought that song was pretty beautiful. I thought the song was pretty beautiful. I thought it had a uh, uh, some uh cool lyrics that addressed a lot of the topics that you know SZA addressed on her last record I mean I think she's kind of a found a defining style with uh you know that narrative in that direction um no Eminem well I mean you guys you guys pick tracks over albums so we're doing tracks sorry um Evermore Deluxe yeah we're, we're gonna play a track from that for sure don't worry um but I I feel like she's found an angle and a narrative with that and she's kind of sticking to it <laughs> which I mean, it works for her. I, I think it, you know, puts her in a place where she's writing in such a way where it gives you something to think about in the lyrics. And, and I do like that. Uh, a lot of good vocal uh, riffs on the track uh, sounded quite heavenly across the board, but I got a nitpick. You guys, you guys know I have to fucking, I, 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 I got to fuck Anthony nitpick. Fontano, that shit. I got to Anthony Fontano, that shit. Um, I wasn't crazy about, the just just the overbearing prevalence of just higher range tones that are just so fucking reverby uh in the mix and, and so dense and taking up so much space to the point where they're almost like competing with the vocals a little bit and also burying the bass and the drums which were quiet as fuck through the track like the bass and drums were almost like just not even there um, it, it, it feels like it could have used a little bit more space. Just like give SZA's vocals some fucking space, you know, give them some space. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it, it just seems like there were just too many bits of uh, instrumentation and layers. Plus on top of that, the reverb just creating just too much saturation, you know, uh, thank you very much for the sub. Just too much saturation. It felt very saturated, you know, and, and unnecessarily so. You know, I feel like it, it could have been a little less saturated, um, but still, I, I thought it was a beautiful tune. I thought SZA sounded great on it. Um, I, you know, I feel like if it wasn't SZA singing on it, I'd, I'd have no business with this, you know, but because SZA is singing on it and she did a pretty good job, I'm, I'm in so far as that's the case, I'm, I'm kind of fucking with it, you know, so, um, but yeah, I like that one. I thought that one was fine. Um, and as long as we're getting new material, like, please, you know, like keep, keep teasing us, get us to the album. Um, so, uh, you know, as, as long as she's dropping stuff, it, we're, we're, we're getting closer. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And thank you very much for watching this stream clip we've uploaded to YouTube for more. Check out our Patreon page, our other YouTube channels, Fantano and The Needle Drop, and also our Twitch page, twitch.tv slash The Needle Drop. There's also another video over here that you could click on as well, the subscribe link to. Uh, you're the best forever.